The 100 Island Challenge is a campaign here at Scripps Institution of Oceanography where we're trying to understand the variability of coral reefs globally. We know that we're in a period of change for reef ecosystems, and a big part of our effort is to understand how are these systems changing, and how is the geographic variability really influencing what we're seeing with these dynamic reef ecosystems. We investigated the condition and rates of growth of coral reefs across 22 different countries scattered across over 100 islands on the planet. The corals themselves are spatially stuck. They live on the bottom. And for us to understand what's happening, we have to follow them through time. Mapping software like the Esri products are essential for us to understand the location of these corals, track their fates, and really to understand all that basic ecology that's fundamental to our understanding of coral reef ecosystems. Esri GIS is really helpful um, in multiple stages of our expeditions of data collection. I would say from the very beginning, it's very helpful to be able to look at the sites that we want to go to. Um, a big part is that we need to space out our sites so there's no pseudo replication of data, making sure that we're not collecting data too close to each other. Um, so we use the mapping tools to set up the sites that we will go to. And then after we get back, we can then plot all those sites and see which ones we want to go back to for future return trips to see how the reef is changing through time. So it's really, really helpful to be able to see the data in space so that then we can make decisions based on where that data is and the data that's being pulled out of um, those locations. One of the places that our lab works pretty heavily is a reef called Palmyra Atoll. Um, it's an island in the middle of the Pacific, about a thousand miles south of Hawaii. For that work, we've been doing um, these imaging surveys and mapping out where the corals are distributed on Palmyra. It's a place where we um, probably the, know the most and have the most um, data processed from this reef. And that's where we've been able to do a lot of these spatial analysis surveys, looking at um, where the adult corals are distributed, where the juvenile corals are distributed, um, and how corals are interacting with each other spatially on the reef. From some of the research, we've shown that adult corals tend to be clustered and juvenile corals tend to be um, more randomly dispersed, and that's a mechanism of their biology and just how they live and grow. We're also looking at um, buffers and who lives next to each other, so some of the interactions between different species. Are you getting associations of certain species kind of cohabitating and living together, as opposed to some that don't necessarily like each other and tend to avoid each other? And is that driven more by their biology or more by the habitat that they, they live in? Those are some of the questions that we're trying to answer. Um, with a lot of the mapping tools that ESRI provides in figuring out the spatial ecology of coral reefs. One of the most surprising things we've learned is that corals across the globe are trying to grow. Now that's phenomenal. We know that there are patterns of loss in some locations, but understanding that corals are trying to grow and that there's evidence of change, change that they're facing tomorrow differently than they face today. This is evidence of adaptation. And now we know that the world is changing. And we know that conditions may be challenging, but if we have adaptation, then corals may be finding solutions to face tomorrow in a way that will keep these ecosystems around for the generations ahead. One of the biggest opportunities we have right now is to use technology to get more people involved with coral reefs. Image-based maps are a way that you don't have to be in the water to be able to experience that reef ecosystem. With more people involved, with more people falling in love with these coral reefs, we have more opportunities to find the solutions for tomorrow.